with The Great Beauty, we decided, we were talking before about story, and with The Great Beauty, we decided that we didn't want to, you know, fill the trailer up with story. We didn't want to, like, put too much story in. We felt like you were going to get the story just by mostly the editing, the music changes, the rhythms of the trailer, how there would be just a couple subtitles in the beginning, and that would sort of bring you into a little bit of story and you would understand it all. And then it was about an experience. Um, so why don't we... And I mean, this movie is different too from a lot of uh, films we've worked on because it's so playful and it's so fun. I mean, it's like, it's immediately appealing for that reason. It's, you know, just the party scene. Exactly. Here, just it's so, so much exhilarating. Yeah, right. It's so like, it's like amazing filmmaking. Yeah. So it's like, you can't, this is sometimes when we get movies, it's like, well, you know, you, you, you know the trailer cuts itself. It's like you don't really have to even do that much. You don't have to work that hard because it's such good material. <clears throat>this and you're just like wow I, I, I feel the movie it's so clearly about this old guy who's older guy who's looking back on his life he had this crazy you know dazzling life and now he's looking back and he's thinking about his past and you sort of experience that in two minutes or less and you get all this sort of understanding like this that this movie is amazing so I think that was um, you know one of the one of the things that we're proud of even sitting here watching it again, I realized like, you know, our approach to graphics is very simple. It's like, it's, it, it's sort of like we're trying to stand out of the way of the movie and really let it go. And, you know, the quotes are there, but it's, it's not, we're not, they're not dazzling 3D graphics. It's like, it's really letting the movie speak. And, uh, yeah, it's just, it's, it's fun to watch. And, and there's, so, you know, the cinematography in this movie is so great. Yeah, it's I like just, a lot yeah. of the cutting sort of yeah. that's happening in between those cards, you know, how it feels like. Every cut is, is sort of right, is the perfect length, you know. So I just feel like it, it really, it feels very fun to watch. You know, it's kind of, when you watch it, it's, it's kind of um, an experience. And that's something we were trying to do. And then how about the music? Where did that come from? Did they bring it to you? Well, yeah, in this case, the music is from the film, yeah. you know. So this, it was... Um, that the N cue is sort of a famous cue, not famous, but it's a known cue that's used in um, you know, medieval masses. So that was something that we wanted to put in, in the end. The middle um, song is, a, is a pretty well-known Italian club song. So that was also part of it. It was kind of evoking that, those eras. Um,
And so we may sort of design the, mu the, the trailer a little bit around the music. Like one thing is that the opening of the trailer is very slow and there's all these shots of Rome and there's a, there's a dialogue, it's subtitle. So we're kind of trying to almost make you think, oh, this is gonna be a slow, boring movie about some older man who's gonna talk about living in Rome and there's gonna be shots of the Colosseum. And then all of a sudden, we're, what we're constantly thinking is how to, to subvert the audience a little bit. We, we, we do a rug pull and all of a sudden it kicks out of this kind of slow build and it just, you know, then goes bonkers. Literally and, upside down. And the <laughs> shots, yeah, exactly. There's literally a shot upside down where you're, this is kind of like not what you're expected to see. And all of a sudden, boom, you know, and the trailer's like off and running. And it's kind of not what you expected when you when you first sort of opened up, you know, at the beginning, and the shots were really slow, and there were shots about can and all kinds of stuff like that. I mean, there's a famous trailer, of course, that this has tiny bit in common with, which is Pulp Fiction, which opened with a can card. You know, it was like a, about a graphic about it won at the the best film at the Cannes Film Festival, and then it like ex somebody shoots it. <laughs> and then, like, it's off and running, and the Dick Dale music, like, kicks in. And in a weird way, this has something in common with that. How did you choose yeah. the shots in the second half of the piece? Because it goes from telling a story mm -hmm. to more of a montage. So how do you mm -hmm. choose what goes in there? Just, you know, years of practice, you know, <laughs> finding the best shots that are going to, each one is going to sort of resonate, and each one kind of maybe links to the next one in a subconscious way, and it's all part of a whole. So a lot of thought is going into it, you know, and that um, that goes, I think, to our overall sort of, you know, um, when we are working on these kind of trailers, for these great movies, we really want the trailers to be to be able to stand next to them, you know, so that they have like great editing and there's great cuts. And so we're thinking about that a lot. You know, there's one little funny detail on this, which is this shot, which we loved and we loved the movement. It's the woman in the pool. And you can sort of see it kind of cuts nicely. There's a woman dancing, a woman in a pool, and then this. So that went to finish, as they say. The trailer went to finish, and then somebody noticed that this woman was not wearing any clothes, even though it was very hard to see. So at the last minute, we had to swap it out. And I think they put in a shot of a nun, and it yeah. was not <laughs> one that we chose. Right. And it, it, it works, but it was not one that we had put in. Mm -hmm. Do you feel really invested in this movie now to the point where you're rooting for it more so than just you would a good movie? Absolutely, yeah. I mean, we care about these movies. We spend so much time with them. You know, they're, you know it's like it, it takes weeks to, you know, to get that first cut out and then there's revisions for weeks and then, you know, we're absolutely pulling for it because we get close with yeah. the people who are working on the films and made the films. So yeah, we feel that, that Yeah, this you know, movie, we've been yeah. around this movie since October. So it's yeah. been, a, been a long time we've been working with it or seen it. So yeah, we're totally, we're, we feel yeah. we're, we're part, part of the entourage. Yeah.